Welcome to SAT School. This is our third video on area of triangle and quadrilateral. Now let's get started. So this is theorem 1 that we discussed earlier. Two parallelograms standing on the same base and between same parallels are equal in area. So if you haven't watched that video, I strongly recommend to watch that first. Click the i button above and watch the video. Now here we are in theorem 2. The theorem statement is area of a triangle is equal to one half of the area of parallelogram standing on the same base and between same parallels. Meaning we have a triangle and next is a palm. So by this statement, if this triangle and this parallelogram are standing on the same base and between same parallel, then in that case, the area of triangle will be equals to half the area of the parallelogram. And the condition is if they are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines. So here they are not standing on the same base. Let's suppose if they are standing on the same base and between same parallels like this. We have a triangle which is P, Q, R and parallelogram P, Q, R, S. So those two are standing on the same base which is Q, R and they are between same parallel lines meaning Q, R and T, S. So these are two parallel lines. They are between those two parallel lines and standing on same base. In that case, we have to show the area of this triangle is half the area of this parallelogram. So here we make a construction where we draw RM parallel to QT. So this line and this line parallel. So this is what we have to construct. In this theorem again rm parallel qt now here is the given the given is a triangle tqr and parallelogram pqrs they are standing on the same base and between same parallels ts and qr again a triangle this tqr and this parallelogram pqrs they are standing on the same base QR and between same parallels T, S and QR. So this is given and by this statement we have to prove this area of triangle is half the area of the palm P, Q, R, S. So we have a construction here where we draw RM parallel to QT. So this RM is drawn parallel to QT. Now let's probe. So now we have TQRM of parallelogram. In construction, we draw this RM parallel to QT, meaning these two opposite sides are parallel. If these two opposite sides are parallel, we have these two sides which are parallel as well. In that case, if opposite sides are parallel, then we have a parallelogram which is T Q R M. So T Q, I mean T Q R M is a parallelogram being opposite sides are parallel. The next is area of triangle Q R T is half the area of the palm T Q R M. Here, this is a diagonal which is T R, and we know diagonal bisects of parallelogram. This is a diagonal and diagonal always bisects the parallelogram. That's why this triangle which is QRT is half the area of the triangle T, I mean half the area of the parallelogram TQRM. Here the statement is area of triangle QRT which is this triangle. So this triangle is half the area of the parallelogram TQRM. This whole parallelogram is TQRM and this triangle is half the area of that. The region is diagonal TR 
bisects the parallelogram. The next statement is area of TQRM and area of the pump PQRS. They are equal. This is by the theorem one. We have a two parallelogram. One is TQRM and next is parallelogram PQRS. So those two parallelograms, they have the same base and they are between same parallels. So in theorem one, we have proved that two parallelograms which are standing on the same base and between same parallels are equal. That's why this palm and this palm, these two palms, they are standing on the same base, which is QR, and they are between same parallels. That's why those areas are equal. Now, if you compare two and three, this parallelogram TQRM, which is this, is equal to PQRS, I mean PQRS. So you can replace this parallelogram with this parallelogram because they are equal. This one is this one and this is equal to this. So in statement four, we can simply write this area of triangle QRT is equal to half the area of the parallelogram PQRS. Again, when you compare these two, you have to just replace this parallelogram with this parallelogram. Then this area of triangle is same here and this will be now half the area of the parallelogram PQRS. This is from statement two and statement three. So this is how we can. Now here is the same theorem, but the question, the statement of the question is different. We have to show here the area of triangle ABC is half the area of the rectangle ABCD. Here we have a triangle and have to show half the area of the rectangle. They are standing on the same base and they are between same parallel lines AB and EC. So in the previous statement, I mean theorem, we have a statement where area of triangle is half the area of the palm. Instead of palm, in this question, it is given rectangle and every rectangle is also palm. So the theorem is same, but the statement is different. Instead of parallelogram, in this statement, we have a rectangle ABCD. So I want you to try the figure, at least the figure, make a triangle and a rectangle. They are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines, which are AB and EC. So try to draw a figure of a triangle and rectangle standing on the same base and between same parallel. Go for it. I hope you manage that. So this is how we draw A, B, E triangle and A, B, C, D rectangle. And they are standing on the same base, which is AB, and they are between same parallel lines and the remaining process that we did in the theorem one earlier. So here we draw a parallel line BF. So BF is drawn parallel to AE. And one thing you have to remember when you draw the figure, you have to give the same name that is given in the question or in statement. So here is a triangle ABE and we have a rectangle ABCD standing on the same base, which is BC, I mean AB, and they are between same parallels AB and EC. So you know the remaining steps that we did in theorem two earlier. Exactly, you have to follow the same, just you have to change the name. You can try that. Again, same theorem, the statement is different. Now here, we have to show this triangle ABC and this parallelogram ABCD. We have to show the relation between them. They are standing on the same base, which is AB, and they are between the same parallels AB and EC. We have to show the area of the palm, ABCD is two times the area of 
triangle ABC. So earlier we saw that area of triangle ABE is half the area of palm ABCD. So this two was here like one by two. So here we make same figure that is triangle ABE by the equation and parallelogram ABCD which is ABCD standing on the same base and between same parallels. The only difference is the relation is shown like this. Instead of area of triangle ABC half the area of parallelogram here we have to prove area of parallelogram is twice area of ABC. So exactly same figure and what we did before we follow the same process just what we have to change at the end is instead of writing area of triangle half the area of the palm you cross multiply this and that will be two times the area of triangle is area of the ABCD. So the different way of asking the question for the same theorem it is asking the same information from all the equation only the statement is different but the way you prove the theorem is same. So I hope you understood this. This much for today. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll meet you next video. Take care.